are you building your app in the right order? Most people don't, right? So here's what I mean, right? Most people start by going wide first, okay? And building all the features and all the functionality and all the cool ideas that they have come up with and that they think that their users want and need. And then over time, as they start bringing people on their app and they start getting feedback, they start having to eliminate or narrow down or redo or remove a lot of those features because they figure out that a lot of them, you know, they thought they were must have features, but it turns out they, they didn't really solve that core problem their app is being created for and their market didn't actually need or want them. So they start wide and they eventually kind of narrow down. Okay, so it should be the opposite, all right? You really want to start narrow and then expand as you go. So what I'm gonna do is share my screen and we're gonna go over to my whiteboard here. Okay, we're gonna draw this out a little bit. So most people, uh, they start up here, right? Up in this section. And what I like to call this up here are users, assumed needs, oops, got a little lag here, uh, needs and wants. Okay, so most people start up here. They spend about 90% of their time focusing on this section. And as they eventually start bringing users on board, they start getting feedback, they realize that, uh, you know, a lot of those assumed needs, they weren't actual needs and wants for their users. So they eventually kind of work their way down and then they get down here where they finally narrow down to the actual needs, right? Now, the problem with taking this approach is, you know, okay, eventually they get down to the actual needs, but during this transition point, where they're working, working all the way down to those needs, what they're doing is they're eliminating things they've already built, they're uh, redoing things they've built, or they're iterating them in some way. In other words, they're backtracking, right? They're wasting a lot of their time because they spent all of it up here on the assumed needs, and then they spend all this time finally working their way down to the actual needs. So what you wanna do is you actually wanna flip this. So it looks a little bit more like this, okay? So when you start up at the top here with actual needs up here instead of at the bottom, and then you start bringing on test users, bringing on beta users, getting feedback for your app. And with that feedback, you work your way all the way down here. Well, what happens is down here, you're not flipping it so that the assumed needs and wants are down at the bottom now. What happens is those assumed needs and wants actually transition into more actual needs, right? Because when you start with the actual needs, when you start with that more refined and specified scope, and then you work your way out from there, you're, you end with more of the same, more actual needs, and then your app is filled with actual needs that you know your users and your market wants, right? So you just have to flip this upside down. Now, think of it like this. Imagine you are trying to replicate uh, one of your favorite meals at your favorite restaurant, okay? And you go out and you get all the ingredients that are gonna go into that meal. And then you take the same amount of every single one of those ingredients, the same amount of, uh, you know, seasonings and spices, including, you know, the same amount of, uh, you know, your, your meat or your whatever is going into it. Same amount of everything. And you put it all together, right? And then you, you eat what comes out of that. It probably wouldn't be very good. It probably wouldn't taste very good. It wouldn't be what you want, right? That doesn't make sense. Instead, what would you do if you're trying to replicate that, that meal? right? Well, you go out and you get the ingredients and you would start with the base, right? That you know you love. It's the base of the whole meal, right? And then you start adding one or two or maybe three ingredients at a time and you just add a little bit, right? And then you, you try it, you taste it, 
you see if it's good and then you adjust as needed. You add a little bit more and you try it again. And then you adjust and you add a little bit more and you try it again and you know, and it goes on from there until you have the perfect replicated meal, right? That's what you want to go for, okay? Now, the reality is that the majority of founders they never actually launch their apps because they start too wide. Okay, so we're gonna go back up here. They start too wide up at these assumed needs and wants, and then they realize over time as they you know make their way down this path, they realize over time that they missed the mark on their features. You know, even if their solution is entirely valid and they know their market and their users need that solution, you could still miss the mark on the exact features and the way in which you build them and the, the way they solve that problem, right? So the, most founders realize that they just missed the mark on all of those features. But when you flip it, when you start with the actual needs up top, as you make your way down, right? You end with a, an entirely right perfect meal. You intend you end with the actual needs, right? By starting narrow, you can add on and adjust as needed, just like with that recipe you're trying to replicate. And you can get feedback and make sure that there are actual needs all along the way instead of wasting your time up top, right? Now we had a client who when he initially came to us, uh, these are his words. He wanted to build everything for everyone in his app, right? He wanted to make sure that every user had every possible feature they could possibly want, right? But the reality is when you build for everyone, you're really building for no one. It's kind of like, you know, uh, wanting a, a really good steak. I know I keep going back to food, but it's kind of like wanting a really good high quality steak and then going to a buffet, right? Maybe the buffet has steak, right? But you, you don't really, you wouldn't do that, right? If you're looking for a really good steak, you would, you would go to the steakhouse. Well, when you start in the wrong order, you're you're making your app too generalized. When you try to build everything for everyone, you're becoming that buffet, you're becoming too generalized. Well, you wanna be specialized. You wanna be solving the exact problem your market has. And you wanna make sure that everything you build continues to solve it in a way your users actually need and want. And it doesn't matter how much you think that the features that you have in mind our absolute needs, at the end of the day, you're still going to be assuming until you have their feedback, okay? So by starting narrow and then going wide, you can start in a pinpointed way, get feedback all along the way, and make sure that your app as a whole is entirely relevant to your market, right? Now, uh, if you want help, building, kind of flipping that script, building those actual needs so that you can go wide. We have blocked off a handful of times for free strategy calls this week where we will go through a development plan for your app and then see if it would be a good fit for us to help you build it. So if you're interested in chatting more about that and applying for a free strategy call, you can just click the link right below this video, uh, schedule a time, fill out a short form, and we'll take it from there. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day.